Pambangwa Minasan, this is Chronicle. Okay, I am going to talk about the normal Dunder units that I usually use. And besides these six characters, I will also go through some of the other Dunder units that I usually use with a very short description. And then, before I continue, please read this description first. Okay, the first character I'm going to introduce is Mozen, and he is a Holy Knight from the Sacred Stone, and he is considered a very very old character. Yeah, super old. With this second jump plus or second class change, yeah, which is actually quite powerful. And before his second jump plus, he is actually usable, but then his overall status is not as high as right now. Yeah, right now as you can see, his status is pretty high. And then, about his main ability. Okay, first thing first. He has the ability to use this skill. Very powerful. It will consist his HP, but then it will greatly increase his R parameter and increase the movement and reduce the dual cost for 3 turns of fighters. Yeah, with this armor. Yeah, so basically for this fighters, he is very powerful. Yeah. You also can inflict this drop cap and status 95 for 3 turns and then with this chain combo attack when she defeats the enemies. Yeah, and this skill damage is pretty high, especially against the water. And then with the AoE attack. And he also has the ability to target provoke the enemies and with the slash resistance ready up. Yeah, pretty good. So that if you're equipped with the runes and gear and leader skill and everything, I think his sex resistance can easily hit 100. Yeah, no problem. And then, you also have this very powerful HP Drain. Yeah, usual HP Drain. Or you can actually equip with his normal counter attack. Yeah, up to you. And this counter attack will increase his massive HP and can be stacked for 3 times. Yeah, so that his HP will be super high. Yeah, higher than this. And then for the support ability, these two passive should be the best for him, but you can actually switch one of them with this one. Yeah, and he will have the physical damage shield for 3 attacks from the start of the map. Yeah, it's considered pretty good for arena and PvP. But if you are using him for the PvE, you can just equip with these two by default. And then next is about his mementos. Okay, this is a normal mementos and this is a limited mementos, so beware. And the limited mementos is pretty good because of the jewel regen. Yeah, very nice. This one is very good. And then this visual ability also very good. He will have the gas status for one turn. Yeah, so basically he will not die. And then for the memento gear, this one also quite good for him, especially this weapon ability. Yeah, he will have the status emit when his HP is less than fifty percent. And then. With this ration block attack, when his HP is less than 25%. Yeah, and if you equip with his free weapon, he will have additional status up. Yeah, so this accessory is really very good for him. Try to get this mementos if you can. And then this armor is from his own mementos, it's also very good. Because of the weapon ability. If you never equip him with this armor, as I said earlier, this armor increased the buff turn. From 3 turns to 5 turns. Yeah, so this is very good as well. Yeah, so basically, I think this is the best gear set for him. Unless, you want to switch this armor with other gear to sacrifice the vulnerability boost. Yeah, otherwise, I think this tree will be the best for him. And then, for the Phantom Memory, you can equip with the Slash Attack Up, or a Attack Up, or maybe Slash Resistant. Yeah. And then, for the runes, Okay, simple, physical slash, and that's guards or healing power, and then physical defense, magic defense, and slash resistant. Yeah, or maybe other resistant. And then either you equip with the HP up, yeah, HP set, and accuracy, or maybe area attack, or maybe single attack. Yeah, up to you. Okay, next is. Tia is also from the second stone. But then, she is a Beta Templar number 4, or Chukaishu, or Ten Commandment. Yeah, whatever you call. 
And then about her job, besides this main job, this Chromancer is quite good because you can support your allies with the Crock Up or Crock Down status of the enemy. And then this Summoner, also very good because of the Rash ability. Yeah, so basically she is just very good, in short. And then about her main skill ability, okay, first thing first, this skill, very good. Reduce the opponent thunder resistance. And then if the opponent has the magic defend down or accuracy down, the damage increase. And this skill will reduce the enemy's CT. And then also increase her magic attack and can be stacked for 3 times. And then this skill is also not so bad. Yeah, you can actually think her with the evasion unit because you can reduce the opponent accuracy and her evasion gradient. Yeah, so that your other evasion unit will have a high chance to evade the attack. And then with the charge up and the symbol debuff. And then about the side she can actually cut down the enemy with this skill. Yeah, and then with this skill that charms the enemy and the enemy will have the physical attack magic attack time too. Yeah, quite good for PvP actually. Or you can actually switch this to the Chromancer, like I said earlier. And then about the Rash ability, like I said earlier, this Rash ability from the Summoner is very good for the Red Boss. Yeah, because all elemental resistance now. And then her main job, Rash ability, is also very good. There's a chances of avoid the physical attack. Yeah, so it's not bad, but then if the opponent is using magic damage, it will be useless. Yeah. And then I think these two passives are the best choice by default. Yeah, this passive will reduce the cast time. Yeah, quite good. And then with the sleep, resistance gradient up and evasion. Yeah, interesting. And then this support ability with the silent simul. Yeah, also good. But then you can actually use one of the passive here. Either you want to increase the skill usage uh, with this TT up notified for one turn. Yeah, so this is only for PvP usually. And then about her mementos, okay, both of them is not limited. Yeah, very good. And this mementos is very good. Magic resistance down and can be stacked for two times. And she herself will have the crowd status. And then also reduce the jewel cost. Yeah, not bad. But then her first mementos, this one, either skill is very good because of the magic attack plus fifty percent and speed plus five percent. Yeah, this leader skill is really very good for everyone that is depending on the M attack. Yeah, anyone. And then this debuff resistance is also quite nice. Yeah, so if you equip with another gear that is increased the debuff resistance, it will be 100. Yeah, so basically she will not get any debuff. Yeah, all debuff. And then about the gear, this armor is quite good from this mementos because of the web ability. If you equip with her free weapon, she will have the additional boost. Yeah, quite nice. And then this accessory is from this mementos, also not bad, because of the debuff resistance. And then this weapon ability also very nice, because it's 100% hit, and greatly reduce the opponent accuracy. Yeah, good for any types of quests, especially PvP and arena. And then for the phantom memory, just equip with the magic attack and M attack will be good enough. Like for example, Narrow Memory as Main Slot. Yeah, because Narrow Memory is the best magic memory. Yeah, for all magic attacker. And then for the runes, that's equal with the Dex and Magic Attack. And then Magic Attack and Healing Power or Guards or whatever or Metal Jewel. And then any Resistance, Physical Defense, Magic Defense or Luck. And then the set bonus is Magic Attack and anything. Yeah. Okay, next is Sophie is also a very old 5 star character and then with this very interesting Necromancer, Job Plus. And then for some reason her evasion is considered pretty high, I mean higher than the normal job. But her total evasion is not as high as like for example Yaras or Laftalia, those kind of character. Yeah, I think it's only about 100 or 110, I can't remember. And then about her ability set, okay, she has two types of skill set, and then the changes is depending on this support ability. When you equip with this passive, she will have the evasion up, and then these three skills will have the changes. One of them is the rash ability, there is a probability of avoid slash and magic attack, these two. 
Yeah, not so bad, but it's only applies to these two types. Yeah, so if the enemy is using the strike or pierce or anything else, it will be useless. And then the main ability, these two skill changes. And then this skill will reduce the opponent accuracy and chain combination. And then this skill is if the opponent has the slash resistance or accuracy down, the damage increase. But then if you switch this passive with like for example this one will greatly increase her speed. Yeah, but all the other parameters will reduce a bit. And then this rush ability will change into this one. HP drain instead and reduce the enemy slash and magic attack and can be stepped for 2 times, for 3 times. But then the shooting range is only 3 times 3 within herself. Yeah, not so suitable for long range. Too bad. And then for the main ability, this skill becomes slash and magic attack debuff instead. And then this skill becomes ignores the enemy rush ability plus 100% hit instead. And then she has the ability to increase her slash and magic resistance for 3 turns. And also remove the debuff. Yeah, so basically either you can use her as a tank or evasion. Yeah, these two, since her resistance also very high. And then about her side ability, also very good. Yeah, as a debuffer. Like for example, this skill will reduce all 4 elementals besides light and dark. And then this skill will reduce the opponent thunder resistance and speed and can be stepped for 2 times if the opponent is water unit. Yeah, this is also very good. And then this is slash resistance gradient down if the opponent is a water unit. Yeah, so basically she is quite good against the water unit. Yeah, in short. And then there is one more skill which is also very good from this laser skill level 20. When the opponent is a human unit, she will dress the opponent's slash attack and resistance before she uses this skill for one turn. Yeah, so basically even if the opponent's slash resistance is just 100, she can actually attack the opponent yeah, with some damage. At the same time, her resistance and attack increase as well. Yeah, can be stepped for 2 times. And the good thing is, the shooting range, 5 times 5 within herself. Yeah, consider pretty big, 5 times 5. And only targets the enemies. And then about her mementos, I think she only have this one limited mementos. Yeah, I think. And then this mementos also not bad because of the evasion up. Yeah, more evasion. And then this skill will also increase her evasion and she will have the joy regen. So basically without this mementos, her evasion is not considered that high. And then about the weapon, also good, cause it increased the evasion, yeah, and then with the status. And then for the weapon ability, she will have this academy phase resistance gradient, I think plus 100, yeah, and then also reduce the jewel cost for 3 turns. So this is very good for arena and pvp, especially against some guy that is from the war stories, or even from the beta temple, then commandment. Or even from the ancient guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the other gear, just equip with anything you like. Yeah, HP up or speed up. Yeah, or resistance up. Anything. And then for the Phantom Memory, you can equip with the evasion or slash resistance or magic resistance. Yeah, up to you. And then for the runes, you can actually equip with either HP or evasion. Uh, physical attack, yeah, and then with the accuracy or uh, area attack or single attack, up to you. And then with the physical slash, and dex, guts or uh, healing power. And then with the critical status or uh, physical defense and magic defense or luck, yeah. Okay, next is the run is from the Berber Chronicle Scarlet Frame. And then with this Gun Lance Japlas, which is actually quite powerful, and it consists of Yes, attack and turn type. And then about his ability. Okay, first thing first is this skill. But it's only exclusive for manual, not auto, so beware. And it will increase his CT. And then this skill will have the power. And then if you use again this skill one more time, this skill will become a big enemy blast. And if I'm not wrong, it's a 100% hit. And then it's a non type. Yeah, so it's very good against any enemy with high resistance. And then this skill also not bad, but this is a pierce attack, so beware. 
and then he has the ability to protect your allies from the physical damage for traitors. Also not bad. And then for the side ability, you also can reduce the opponent pierce resistance for traitors. And then with this gas status plus physical attack up until he animates this gas. Yeah, so basically almost permanent buff. And then his special ability is very simple. Reduce any types of damage probability. Yeah, simple, nothing much. And then for the support ability, I think this two will be the best for him by default. And this passive will permanent increase his pierce attack and swamp versus water. And then his master ability also quite good. Permanent increase his all attack when he getting any damage. Yeah, basically more damage. And then about his mementos. Okay, this will be his main mementos. And it is not limited, so it's quite good. And then this mementos is not bad. Especially this weapon ability will reduce the opponent thunder resistance. And then you can equip with this mementos as a second slot. Because this good skill also for him. Yeah, for everyone. And then he also can use this one. Yeah. But then this is only increased the slash attack and maximum HP. And he is not even a slash attacker. So basically it's only HP up. So beware. And then about the gear. This weapon is from the Grand's 4 star mementos. And this accessory is from the 4 star Talutanian mementos. Yeah, this two is very good for him. And this armor is from his mementos. And then this accessory is very very good because of the joy regen and HP regen. And then this weapon is also not so bad. And you can use the weapon ability. And this armor also quite good. You can use the Kraka status on himself. But then you can actually equip with this one if you want to increase his shooting resistance. Yeah. Or uh, maybe this one. Yeah, additional status. And then with the debuff resistance. Or uh, maybe Ultima Mafra with the HP regen. And then for the Phantom Memory, I think either you equip with the Aerial Attack or Resistance, this two. I think it should be good enough. And then for the runes. Either you equip with the HP set or physical attack. Yeah, these two. And then with either accuracy or area attack. And then with the physical pierce attack. And dex and guards or healing power. And then defense and defense. Should be good enough. Okay, next is. Okay, one of my all time favorite, you did. And then even though she is a limited unit so called, but then you can hunt her shots just like the other normal units. And then why I always keep using her because of this star ability, status transfer, physical attack and magic attack for traitors. This is very 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 super super good. Yeah, for all types of quests, not just with boss. Yeah, because her base physical attack is pretty high. Yeah, and then her magic attack is also quite high. Yeah, so that's why. And another one more thing is, she has the ability to boost the thunder attack. Yeah, I know it's only 3 turns and stat 3 times at most. But that is very good for rain boss. And also with the other benefits. Yeah, but then more or less is because of the status transfer. Yeah, that's the main reason. And then another one more thing is, if you have this mementos, which is not even limited, this is good. Yeah, especially if you max break this mementos. It added extra physical attack if I'm not wrong. And along with the strong versus the giant. Yeah, I can't remember when she besides any ally. Yeah, so basically all of your physical attacker will have higher damage when she besides them. Yeah, very good. And then with the buff turn plus one. And so and so. And another one more thing about this is the accessory. This one, also good. Yeah, because it boosts both physical attack and magic attack. Yeah, and also with the initial jewel up. And then... The rest is really up to you. Yeah, if you want to further increase her magic attack, just equip with the mementos that is increase the magic attack. Like for example this one. At the main slot. And then basically any accessory you like. And for the phantom memory, just equip either physical attack or magic attack. Yeah, depending on what types of status you want to status transfer. Uh, maybe with the resistance up, at most. And then, about the runes. Also very straightforward. Either you equip with the physical attack set or magic attack set. Yeah, up to you. 
Yeah, then physical attack and magic attack. And the rest is up to you. Okay, next is... Jaron is also a limited unit, just like you did. But then her shots can be hunted from the hard quest. Yeah, so basically it's same as the normal units, except from the gacha. And then her evasion is still considered not bad. Yeah, even though right now she doesn't have any job plus, but it's okay. Yeah, this job is still quite good even right now. And then first thing first is this free weapon, important. You can actually get from one of the events. Not only it increase her evasion plus 7, as well as this weapon ability also permanent increase her evasion and such attack. Yeah, very very good. And then you can use this weapon ability to remove the opponent buff. Also very good. And then another one more thing is this mementos. Even though it's limited, but this vision ability will permanent increase her physical attack and speed for every turn, every action turn. So even if she doesn't do anything, it will still increase. Yeah, very good. And what's more, with the magic resistance and then silent resistance and magic evasion. Yeah, this is also good. And then with the speed up, speed up. Yeah, more speed. And then this pigeon clear war accessory is also not so bad, especially the side attack and back attack. And along with the vulnerability as well. Yeah, so that the damage will be increased, especially against the water unit. And then with anything you like for the third accessory. And then for the memory, I think this should be the best because evasion up. And also increase another pierce evasion up, this one. And then with the physical attack should be good enough. And about her main skill, okay, I think pressure pretty up to you. You can choose evasion up permanent, stack three times. Uh maybe this one with the move plus one and bad attack, side attack up for one turn. Yeah, so either one. And then this master ability is also very good because of the buff turn plus one. Yeah, so that, like for example, her main ability, this skill will become four turns, evasion. Yeah, quite good. And then this skill will become two turns, I think, move plus two and jewel cost down. Yeah. And same goes to the side ability, this one becomes six turn. Yeah, so it's actually quite good. Or you can actually switch this celebrity with this Beastmaster celebrity. Yeah, this Probo skill. Also not bad. And then, of course, with the HP Drain and Bonzer status. And so and so. Yeah, it's a good alternate choice. And then for the Surprise ability, I think these two should be the best. This one greatly increased the attack power. And then this one in the attack and move. Yeah, but then this is also not so bad. I think this one. Yeah, increase the speed. But then it will sacrifice one of the physical attack. And then lastly is the runes. Well, standard, evasion, plus area attack or single attack. Or maybe accuracy. And then with the physical attack and slash. And dex and anything you like. And then anything you like. Yeah, basically. Okay, these are the other thunder units that I'm going to talk about it as well. But I'm going to make a very short, short description about them. Okay, first thing first is... Anju is a 1 or 2 star unit. I can't really remember. But then, she is still very good even right now because she is a dancer. Yeah, very simple. And then she can debuff slash resistant Tamtu along with the other parameter. And then next is... Ishuna is a 2 star character, I think. And then with this very interesting job plus, which is still quite good even right now. And then, she is an evasion unit as well. And she can support your allies. And can do something funny against the enemies. And then can attack the enemies with decent damage. So basically, she is quite good in short. But then, this Mementos is limited. Yeah, so beware. Even though she is a 2-star. Okay, next is... Mekistos is a 4-star creator. As well as with this machinery job plus, which is not really that bad even right now, especially against water unit. And also he can debuff the enemy speed, as well as with some status attack, and he can attack the enemies, even if they are using the jump attack. But then right now he doesn't have any exclusive mementos, so just equip with anything that is from the soul. Should be good enough. Okay, next is... Karis is a 4-star creator, 
just like Megistos and with this sniper Joplas. And then most likely, she is even better than him because of this limited mementos. She can actually rest the motorcycle for 5 or 7 turns. Yeah, quite good. With another set of attack skill. Yeah, so that she can actually use more skill, especially her main ability and her motorcycle main ability last skill damage is considered pretty high. Yeah, even though it's only range of 1. Okay, next is... Eka is a free character from the main story chapter 2. And with this very troublesome third job. And then his mementos is not limited. Yeah, even better. And then his Kaiga laser skill is also quite good. Yeah, especially for Arena and PvP. Yeah, so basically he is quite specialized in PvP. And then it says... Magnus is a 5 star character with the Garden Job Plus. So he is quite similar with Edgar, but his overall attack power is higher than Edgar, I think, if I'm not wrong. As well as he has a very good BG ability from his second 5 star Mementos. Yeah, that one is really very good for PvP and Arena. I think it's because of the rich status, if I'm not wrong. And then this weapon is also very good for him, almost a must. But then of course, it would be even better to get his two mementos. Yeah. And that is says, As for Denepo, I have really quite some time never really used her. But then I used her to use her quite a lot. Yeah, in the past. But then you can still use her if you want to use her. Yeah, because she has the ability to reduce the CT down. Yeah, and then with the past time reduce. Yeah, it's still considered not so bad. And then thanks to the astrology and chan job, her job plus has a minor adjustment. Yeah, with the CT up and clock up notified for 3 times, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, better than nothing. Okay, next is... Okay, even though Tiona is a very old unit as well as without any job plus yet, but then this enchant job is not so bad even right now. Especially, she has a permanent physical defense buff from the main ability, plus this accessory from this mementos also permanent increase the physical defense. And then some of her skill that is depending on the physical defense. But then, those skill that is depending on the physical attack will have low damage. So beware. Okay, next is... As for Aizan, I never even actually used him on the normal quest, even in the past. Yeah, I know in the past, he is not really that bad. Yeah, but then right now, his main purpose is the physical attack buff for 5 turns and can be stat for 10 times. Very, very, very super, super, super good for red boss. Yeah, so basically in short, please train him if you want to have big damage for the red boss. Okay, next is... Lucia is a very interesting 5-star unit thanks to this interesting job blast from the Madan Soshi. She has the ability to use both shooting attack and slash attack. Yeah, from her main ability skill. But then, her main weakness is she is not so suitable for auto. But then, if you are using her on manual, she is not really that bad at all. Yeah. But then, this Mementos is limited, so beware. This is not limited. Okay, next is... Dotia is a free 5-star character. You can actually exchange her shards from the Arena coin. Yeah, so basically you need to transmute her. And then with this Beastmaster job plus. Not so bad actually, especially with the skill changes. But then, she is not so suitable for Otto as well, just like Lucia. So beware. And then with this free mementos, which is not really that bad. Okay, next is... Niguru or Kobus, whatever you call, is from the Berbera Chronicle, Shadow Messiah chapter, as well as even though he is a limited unit, but his shards can be hunt from the Berbera hard quest. Yeah, so no difference from the normal units. And then, he is a very 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 powerful evasion unit. Especially against magic attack. But then, other evasion is average. Yeah, so beware. And then, he has many types of best status attack. Yeah, quite convenient for PvP and Arena. Especially pop battle, GBG. Okay, next is... Epeka is one of the free creator you can get from one of the events. 
Yeah, I think it's from the archive, if I'm not wrong. And even though right now she doesn't have any job plus yet, but her debiner and chat job is still very good. In fact, debiner is very good. Yeah. And she also has a decent laser skill, level 20. And she has two mementos, but one of them is limited, so beware. Okay, next is... Tara is considered not so old 5 star unit compared to the other units. And then with this half unit job, Twister. As well as she can use both strike attack and magic attack. Yeah, two types. And some of her skill is depending on the opponent status. Like for example, physical attack or magic attack. And then when she defeats the enemies, she will have the permanent buff on strike and magic attack. As well as with the speed buff and cast time reduce and can be stacked for 5 times from her master ability and with the skill usage plus 1 yeah quite good for her and her mementos is also normal yeah okay so I guess that's all about the normal thunder units that I usually use so thank you for watching this video see ya sayonara